Hey YouTube, it is Dion. I have found some of my old YouTube videos. And no, there is nothing on my face. So this is my bare skin. This is still red on my chin. It's been like a month now. It's a lot better. I have no idea why that's red. You see all of my marks and marks and my freckles. Anyway, I found a lot of my ancient YouTube videos from, oh my gosh years ago so what i decided to do is is on thursdays <laughs> post an old video as throwback thursday and it's going to be hysterical was hysterical to me um it was bringing back memories of um the videos were in like my old house i lived in when i was married and then i have videos from when i was in my apartment um some of the lighting is horrible <laughs> Like, this is the best, which is not. Um, <laughs> some of the techniques I talk about, I don't even do anymore. Some of those products, I don't use anymore. But then the videos are like years and years old. And I'm sorry I keep doing that because that looks crazy. But I thought it would just be fun to <laughs> share some of my old videos since I deleted my channel all those years ago. And then to find some of those videos and like, oh my gosh, like this is... As crazy as I look right now. And so this will probably be the intro to all of the Throwback Thursday videos. Um, and so thanks for watching. Merry Christmas YouTube. It is still Zanky 07 and today's date is August 20th, 2010. Thumbs up for the correct date. This look today, I am really liking it. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. On my brows, <laughs> eye primer. Um, on my cheeks, I used Viva's Custom Color Blush, very lightly, as an under eye and cheek highlight. Yes, again. And on my forehead, yes. Okay, now let's get to the stuff that you don't know. <laughs> I, all my eyes, I, I used today my, um, one of my sealer palettes, and this one really doesn't have a name, I just listed some of the colors on the front so that I would know what's in here. This is the one that had that mimosa in it, that orange, which I did send back, that's why it's empty, because it had no pigmentation at all. But what I used on my inner, the inner third of my eye was this color here, which is Jezebel. And it is a matte color. I really like it. It is smooth. It is creamy. It blends very easily. So I love it. So that's on the first third of my eye. On my... The center of my lid, I have this color here, which is copper. The same shade as a penny. And for the outer third of my eye, I use this color here, which is called terracotta. Very pretty. Very nice neutral summer look. You can wear it with anything. I am really liking it. In my above my crease area, I use this color here, which is another Stila matte color, which is called Puppy. So my middle finger, this one right here. And for a highlight. I use this color here, which is 24, I mean, I'm sorry, 14 karat. And this color is bright. This is the yellow I have been looking for all this time, right there. And because it was <laughs> very bright, <laughs> I ended up going back over it with Puppy, just to tone it down a little bit. And I think it worked out really well, because you still see the brightness of this color without it being like bam and just overpowering everything so this over top of this toned it down very nicely and so I'm very happy about that and then I went in with this color here which is mahogany and I just used that for my outer V and then I blended that in just a little bit now the brushes I used 
for uh, my lip colors I use this brush here which is just a large flat shader brush for the crease color I use this here a pointed blending brush to place mahogany in the outer V I use this brush here which is a domed shape um, crease brush they call it but this is what I use to put mahogany for my outer V and then I went back with this brush here to blend that in or blend it out I should say and I also use this with puppy to blend over my highlight color to tone that down and I also use the same dome shape crease brush to place um, that 14 karat color in my tear duct area and so those are the colors that's on my lid today and actually that was every color in this palette <laughs> except for this one which is ebony which is a matte black and so I could have used this for my outer V instead of the brown but by it being a neutral look I didn't want to make it too dark so that's every color in this palette right here and all the swatches I did not forget <laughs> and then um, I was seeing if it was recording I keep forgetting to check that when I push the button I took um oh also with uh, mahogany, that brown, I use my angled eyeliner brush to run that um, under my lower lash line, and I really, I'm really liking that look. I'm really liking this entire look I did today. And I, this is also the brush I use for uh, my eyebrows. For my upper lash line, I use Stila Smudge Pot, one of the wink winks. <laughs> Barbie loves Stila. This one is Purple Pump. And I know I just did a swatch video, but I'll swatch it again. That's what that looks like. Purple with like pink shimmer. Yeah, purple with pink shimmer. For my lips, I know you're wondering. It is one of Stila's Lip Enamel Lux Glosses. And this one is in Ecstasy. Very, very pretty. For my um, lower water line, and I did tight line today, I used Stila, I'm sorry, <laughs> CoverGirl's Perfect Point Plus. CoverGirl smoothers were the only eyeliners I can use on my, on my um, lower water lines that never ran into my eyes, never, ever, ever once smudged my contacts. Um, even the Urban Decays and um, the Makeup Forever aqua eyes and even Stila's pencils they would usually run up and smudge uh, my contact lenses not always the Urban Decay does not always I think it depends on how much I put on my waterline uh, so sometimes Urban Decay pencils will smudge my contacts and then sometimes they don't but the CoverGirl CG smoothers never ever 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 smudged on my contacts they have discontinued that product and the next thing I could find that I thought was close to it was CoverGirl's Perfect Point Plus. Um, so this is what I use today on my lower waterline and also to tight line with it. For mascara I used on my top and bottom lashes. And that is everything on my face today. If you have any questions about this look let me know. If you want to see a tutorial for it let me know and I'll try to redo it. <laughs> And so thanks guys for watching. Bye.